Hey there, this is Jennifer Dean from Jennifer Dean Wellness. I'm just angling my camera. There we go. So, um, having a little bit of a funny hair day today, but I thought I would come in and show you this activity anyway, because it's going to be easy for me to explain in person and it's been really helpful for me this week. So I thought you might enjoy it as well. So what we're talking about, and I'm writing a post at this over at jenniferdeanwellness.com, is how to manage your stress and how to stop feeling overwhelmed within 15 minutes. So I've got a really quick activity that you can do um, that's going to help you sort out all of that mumbo jumbo in your head and feel organized about what you need to do next as well as being able to understand what of the stresses that you have right now you can let go of. So all you need for this activity is a piece of paper and some different colored pens. So what I want you to do first is we're going to do a brain dump and I want you to write out a big list of everything that might be causing you stress at the moment. Now this might include things that actually you have to do and you're worried about them. So it might be like, I've got to go to the dry cleaners and get this, I've got to organize the kids' birthday cake, I've got a client that I need to organize, um, whatever it might be, stuff that is actually coming up. Um, it might also include just little tasks and odds and ends that are always in the back of your mind. Like, oh, I've got to clean the house or I've got to do you know, this thing next week and it's just kind of on my mind, but it's not super urgent, it's not gonna to happen today or tomorrow. Um, then there's the things that cause us stress that we really don't have that much control about at all. So that might be things like, oh my gosh, I hope it's not going to rain tomorrow for the birthday party or is my flight going to be delayed? So I'm flying tomorrow to South Carolina from LA and you know, I woke up this morning and it was actually drizzling in LA, which is lovely because it never rains here and I thought, oh, I hope it's not going to be bad weather because I don't like turbulence. But I've got no control about that, you know, but it is something that I felt like a little bit of stress for when I first thought of it. So let's just do a big brain dump and just write out all of those things that are kind of niggling away at your mind and just pop them on that piece of paper right now. So once you've got that list, then what you're going to do is start to categorize each of those items and we're going to make four different categories. So the first category is going to be what are the things that you absolutely need to do? What are the things that are most important for you to check off your list to help you move forward with the big goals that you have? Important lifestyle things that are non-negotiable or things that are just gonna make you feel more positive and inspired in yourself and your life. So an example of a must-do list, if you're working with, um, if you've started a new business and you want to get a new client in there, then one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is really pay attention to how you're gonna get in front of people and get them on a consultation call with you to get that client. If you've got a goal that's to do with weight loss and you have been procrastinating about what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing, but you know that and if you could just start going to the grocery store every single week and buying yourself some healthy vegetables and some healthy snacks, that's gonna be a really big step in the right direction, but you've been putting it off, then that task needs to be a priority. Scheduling in going to the grocery store, that's gonna be a priority. Um, other urgent tasks, it might be, like if you do have a kid's birthday party tomorrow and you need to get that organized, then that's got something that needs to be done. So I want you to take one colored pen and go through that brain dump list and circle everything that absolutely has to be done within the next couple of days, within the next 48 hours, say. Let's make that the priority list. So go through, don't let things, this is where you need to be really strategic. So if you're maybe thinking, I'd really like to clean the house, but is that an urgent task? Could I go a few more days without cleaning the house if it means I'm going to be able to finish this client proposal and sign that person or I'm going to finish making that birthday cake or I'm going to actually go to the grocery store and get that food. Cleaning the house comparatively to that stuff is not really important. So go through the list of tasks that you actually have some control over and they're really important for you moving forward. Circle them in one color. So that shouldn't be a very long list that you've just created from what you've circled because you're thinking only what you could get done in the next 48 hours. And we're really probably talking maybe three to five things at the most. So then we're gonna look back at that brain dump list and we're going to categorize our second lot of stuff. And this is the stuff that we're calling future self will deal with that. So I want you to grab a different colored pen 
And this is all of the stuff that you would like to get done. It's niggling away at the back of your mind, but it's really not that urgent. Hopefully it will get done at some point in the future, but if it doesn't, the world won't fall apart either. So that might be if you've had something on your to-do list and it just keeps getting pushed week after week after week. So for example, for me, I've wanted to print out some photos for about the last six months and I haven't gotten them done and I don't really know why, to be honest. But it's kind of making me feel stressed that I keep thinking I need to do this, I need to do this. So I'm just gonna go out there and say, I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. You know, the next couple of weeks I'm traveling and we're busy, put that on the future self, we'll deal with that list. Um, that also might include things like if you've got something coming up but it's far in the future and you don't really have to start working on organizing it right now, then circle that too. Like you'll get to that in the future, it will become an urgent task, but maybe it's not. So if you're planning uh, a holiday or something like that, but it's going to be in three months, you've got the big basic stuff organized. You don't need to start worrying about the details. You don't need to worry about maybe the hotel or something like that. That could come up in another month, you could start focusing on that. So anything that you're thinking, I need to do this, I'm feeling stressed because I need to do this, but it's not urgent, it doesn't have to be done in the next 48 hours, and it's not actually gonna impact how you feel about yourself and your life right now, I want you to circle that in a second color. So we've circled the must do, most important tasks, that was our first color, now we've just circled the future self will deal with that. So still things we'd like to get done, but they're not that important, and we maybe don't need to be worrying about them right now. That's in a second color. Now I want you to stop and look at those two lists. So from each of those items that you've circled, is there potential to outsource or delegate or have someone else do them for you? So maybe you put the house cleaning in that future self. Maybe it's not something that you're gonna get done in the next 48 hours, but you're feeling a little anxious, like, oh, I still have to get this done. I don't have a lot of time. I'm fighting with my husband about who's gonna do what, and it is causing me stress. Or I'm procrastinating from doing the things that I should be doing by doing things like cleaning the house instead of you know, finalizing the, the tasks that I need to do for the organizing the birthday party or you know, actually going to the grocery store and washing and prepping up some healthy food. I instead, I'm just kind of pottering about procrastinating cleaning the house. So that would be something that you probably put on your future list, but it could be outsourced to someone else. You could have a cleaner come in once a week or once every two weeks and take that completely off your plate so you don't have to worry about it anymore. There might be other things as well. It might be, you know, dinners on Friday night, like friends are coming over for dinner and you're feeling really anxious about it because you don't have time to organize something. So maybe you could say, could I get this catered or could I just go and pick up some takeout Really, it's about the company, it's maybe not about the food, so that's something that you could outsource. Sometimes it is better just to spend a little bit of money to take stress off your plate so you're not doing everything yourself. Then you can just say, look, that's out of my mind now, someone else is taking care of it, I don't have to worry. Um, if you're a business owner, it might be looking at working with a virtual assistant, whether on an ongoing basis or an ad hoc basis. You know, just getting someone to kind of help you. If you're been struggling with your fitness. It might be having a personal trainer come and train with you twice a week. So then you don't have to worry about coming up with doing the right things. You All you have to do is show up for that session and someone else has taken care of it. So from the two lists that you've created, you've got your must do, your most urgent tasks that you want to complete in the next 48 hours or maybe the next week at the most. Then you've got your second list, which is the future self list. It's stuff that's not a priority, but it is kind of bothering you. You're feeling a bit overwhelmed with all of those tasks right now. And then from each of those lists, you've just made a few choices about what you could outsource to someone else, maybe a paid professional, or delegate it to someone else, maybe in your family or something like that. You could even look at doing like a time swap with someone you know, if you have kids, maybe they look after the kids one afternoon and then you can move forward on your urgent tasks and then you can look after the kids on another afternoon and they can have that time. So thinking about what could you delegate or outsource or hire someone, just take a few of those things off your plate altogether. So now we're left from that initial list, we have the items that we circled for our must do, the items that we circled for our will do in the future, 
And then there's some items left on that brain dump list that are causing you stress, anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, but we haven't circled them yet. And these are the things that you just don't need to be worrying about. So like I said at the beginning, if I'm worrying tonight about whether my plane's going to be delayed or whether it's going to be rainy and that's going to cause some turbulence, no matter how much I worry, no matter what I do, I actually can't change that at all. So that has to be something that I just say, let it go. Because everything else that's on that list, anything that you might have put on there, it might be you're worried about someone else, even if it's a family member. And I know that's really hard to have those feelings of con concern about someone, whether it's for their health or their happiness or whatever it might be. But if you're just worrying about them, but there's not actually an action that's following up with that, it's not going to make a difference. So if you think that feeling stressed and feeling anxious about things that you have no control over and what that is doing to your body, the stress that it's releasing you, how that's impacting your health, your own sense of joy, your sleep, all of this kind of stuff. It's just really not worth holding on to that stuff. And what I call it is that's just stress for the sake of stress. There's real no, really no rhyme or reason to it. So everything that you've left on the list that has not been circled, that is that kind of arbitrary stresses, well, we're going to just say, we have to let those go. So what you can do is you can pop your hand over your heart and you can look at that list and say, okay, everything that I'm stressing about that I have no control over at all, I'm just gonna let it go because my worrying isn't helping anybody and it's not helping myself and it's not making me feel fit, feminine and fabulous in anything that I'm doing. So uh, the final step from here is just taking the two lists that we have circled and hi mate <laughs> and um put creating two we'll pause one second there we go um what we can do is take everything from our future self list and we're going to write that out on one piece of paper we're going to take everything from our must do list and we're going to write that out on our second piece of paper future self tuck that into your diary just get that out of the way you can return to that in another week or so and just start to pay attention to what is on that most urgent task list so from here, you might say, I'm gonna choose one or two of these tasks that I can work on today. I can actually do put into action something that's gonna make me feel like I'm moving forward. I can check off some of these tasks. That's gonna make you feel really empowered that you have taken a step in the right direction. Um, and then you see, you see that you only have this very small number of items left to do. And I hope that in doing that, you're able to release some of that sense of overwhelm because you've gotten the mumbo jumbo out of your brain and you've popped it onto a piece of paper and then you can just start taking action to work through that. So this is a very strategic way to help deal with stress and overwhelm and of course there's lots of other things that you can do like meditation, taking walks, exercise, eating really well, talking with friends, um, working with coaches, all of those good things too. They're, that's all part of your stress toolbox but this is something that if you're feeling a little overwhelmed as we're coming in to that final section of 2016 and you think, oh, there's still so much to do and we're coming into the holidays, then I do highly recommend this activity. Um, this will be up on the blog tomorrow at jenniferdeanwellness.com and I'll have it all written out for you with some screenshots and examples to make it really easy for you to implement and to understand. But thank you for joining me anyway and I hope that you have a great and stress-free day. Bye for now.